all grew up with the music. We all grew up watching the movies and loving the songs. It's really special to be able to sing and I guess live out our childhood dreams, as cheesy as that may sound. Music was very much a part of the culture that I grew up in and I enjoyed doing it and found that I was good at some parts of it and I love teaching so it was a good, a, a good uh, marriage when I thought, yeah, I'll teach music. I think the biggest reward is when it all starts coming together. Of course, the show, that's the ultimate reward in putting it in front of other people. But I think some of those rehearsals where it comes together for the first time and people go, oh, that's what that means, or oh, good, the music's happening. That Those are really satisfying times because they um, are kind of the reward for really hard work in the choir room. Not everyone is there for the singing aspect of it, so as the vocal director, a lot of it is me cheerleading and telling them they can do it or they have to do it. Uh, many don't read music as well, so the going can be slow, um, but I think they do, at the end, they don't know it right now at this point in the process, but at the end, they will realize it's worth it. They always do, every time we do a musical. I started dancing when I was about 11 and then I got into dancing at high school um, in just my school dance shows and that's actually really late to start dancing, most people start a lot younger um, and then I just loved it. The high school musical was an interesting experience because it's the first musical I've worked on where I felt I had to use original choreography from the movie and what people expect of the choreography because if you hear we're all in this together and you don't do the choreography that you're expected to it seems weird so it was different for me to be learning other people's choreography and then teaching that and adapting it to fit SAS instead of creating it my own way. in London for a contemporary dance company uh, and I performed in the West End for a year and then I decided that performing wasn't necessarily what I wanted to do so I decided that I would like to try teaching and then I fell in love with it. I was an undergraduate student at Pomona College in Claremont, California, and I had gone in as a pre-law major. I thought I wanted to be a lawyer, and after one semester of government classes, I realized I didn't really want to spend my life with people who like to argue. And I looked around campus to see who was having more fun than anyone else, and it was clearly the theater department. 
and I actually switched my major so I could have more fun. And uh, I directed my first play in 1977, and I've been doing so pretty consistently since then. The West High Knights have knocked us out of the playoffs for three years in a row. Yes, and despite your consistent record for defeat, the school board still sees fit to allocate ten times the amount of money for student athletics than it does the theater program. You know, Narvis, I am just trying to teach these boys about goals, about teamwork. Something they can actually use as adults. Which is exactly what I am trying to instill in them. How? By having them scream at the top of their lungs? Philistine! Crackpot! Okay. All right, everybody come here real quick. You guys, are, you guys can work that cross on stage a lot because you don't want to stop. Yeah. Well, I've been part of the musicals and the plays ever since middle school, so it's kind of just been my passion and what I've really enjoyed spending my time doing since, yeah, since then. So it was, you know, my commitment to the theater program and also just because I love to do this thing and that's why I wanted to audition, I couldn't say no. Theater has always been something that I've been very passionate about and um, it's a chance for me to I guess, express myself in ways other than talking. And so um, I love performing, I love singing, dancing, acting in front of people. It makes me really happy. And I think that um, theater is another way for communities to come together um, through music, through dancing. It's just something really special and I think everyone enjoys. So yeah, that's why I wanted to be a part of it. We actually put out a survey to the entire student body of the high school and gave them a choice, let them vote on which musical they wanted. And actually, when High School Musical was by far the favorite. Um, so it was great to do a show that was really for the entire community, um, from kindergarten through 12 all the way through. Um, we hadn't done a show like that since I've been here, so it was, it was nice to do something that was for everyone. being able to play characters that are more different from myself. Because like Sharpe is so different from who I am that I feel like it's, it's just a really like quite different. It's quite far away from who I view myself to be. So I think it's just nice to like be able to play it that far and then come back a bit from there. Funnily enough, by playing uh, another character, you learn a lot about yourself and another thing about it is just it's just a way to let go um, be anybody you want to be on stage and there's just a rush that comes along with performing in front of an audience that I just like you just can't explain and it, it just makes you feel really proud of yourself and the work that you and other people are able to accomplish none of the adults honestly were that excited about doing high school musical when we first um, found that that was the student choice um, because it's Disney and it's, you know, it's not very deep, it's pretty, pretty superficial in a lot of ways, but it's a show that really grew on all of us as we worked on it over the period, and it's just got such a feel-good, happy ending, I mean, what's not to like about it, really? So, it, it won us over in spite of ourselves by the end. It's funny because I don't sing, I don't dance, I don't act, I don't actually do tech, I don't actually do any of the things that are necessary to put up the musical, but I'm really good at facilitating teams of people working together and, and cr creating a vision that we're all working towards. 
Um, and so for me, that's the fun part is is working really closely with my adult colleagues, um, helping, you know, seeing them, they're all so good at what they do, and, and helping them work together with the kids to create this really high level of performance, that's the, that's the fun part for me. and the friendships that you can have uh, during a production uh, and you can build during a production uh, you know really valuable and last longer than just while you're rehearsing. I love working with um, young artists I think that they have a lot of passion we have some really really high quality artists I like to see them get into their characters um, I just I, I just love teaching so that's part of it. I think it's something about how our lives are reflected on the people that we see on stage and so it's much less for me but more for the audience and for them to be able to see just human behavior reflected and see perspectives on issues and seeing it brought up in an artistic way that sometimes is even more powerful than just being told whatever, like moral, but seeing how it plays out and affects people around us. I was really very proud of, of the work. Uh, the leads were really well cast, and they really they really could sing their parts. And those are not all easy parts to sing. Um, and then the whole ensemble really really gelled in the end. 